Jared Poland Fronos Photo. Dot com, and this is another Adorama Picks Rapid Fire Critique where I take your best 10 images and give them a critique my critiquerson. So how do you submit them? You leave a comment down below with a link to your best 10 images. It could be on Flickr, it could be on your website, it could be on 500 Picks. Wherever you put them, make sure it's your best 10 so I can give them a critique. So here we go. We have here a rapid, uh-oh, 11 photos. How am I gonna do 11 photos? I said 10, this is Noah MHD photography. So let's take a look and go through here. First images, image. What are we taking with? I like to see what shots are taken with so I can, I can gauge the harshness level maybe. Nikon D810, 200 millimeter. Is that a 200 F2? Is that a 200 F2? Will it tell me the lens if I scroll anymore? Uh, maybe I missed it. Maybe I didn't, but it's a 200. If it's a fixed 200, then, it, then it's a 200 F2. Okay, so one, uh, so F8. So, okay, wow. Wow, look at the background. So I, I had to take a quick look at this. Is that a bird? No, I don't think that's a bird. I think that's, that's a leaf. So this looks like a crow, and the crow is nice and sharp, and I like how we have this branch out of focus, and the sky is out of focus. Is the image very interesting? Not so much to me, but compositionally and creatively, or not creatively, but, but uh, exposure-wise, it's right on. So I like what's going on in the image. It may not grab me, but maybe it has a purpose in telling certain story, but I love the depth that's created. We have multiple layers of dimensions in a two-dimensional image that is tremendous to be able to pull out. A lot probably has to do with that 200 millimeter. 170 millimeters. So maybe it's not a 200 F2, but maybe it's a 70 to 200 or something like that. This is a deer or a doe or a buck. I don't know. I don't shoot deer or eat deer or do anything with deer. F6.3, no reason to be shooting there. ISO 200. Yeah, this is one of those shots. It's too, you're too close. I mean, you filled the frame with it, but you didn't leave enough of the environment, and it's okay. The, comp uh, the, the color, as in the contrast, looks great. I think the exposure is awesome, and I think that the, the contrast is great, but there's no separation. It just looks like a snapshot. There's a difference between a photograph and a snapshot, in my opinion, and then the photographs are the ones that punch you in the face or kick you with a hoof. So what could we have done to make this a better image? Of course, you can't, if you can get closer, you know, you get a composition along the lines of this, and yes, that's like, hello, I'm a portrait of a deer. That's gonna be much harder without a bigger piece of glass. What could you do with this? Maybe show the natural environment a little more because this is just filling the frame and it's a snapshot of a deer. Much better. 200 millimeters, see, that's beautiful. The comp, uh, you know, I could sit here and say I wanna see it tighter. I could do that all day long, but you're working with what you're working with. This separate, you know, exposure right on. All I will say for composition wise, if it ended up being something along the lines of this, it could be even stronger. But I also know that you're sometimes limited by the lens and the reach and where you're at or when this actually happens. Because you're not, you can't tell when this butterfly is gonna come here and, and, and sit. So I understand all that when I'm going in that. So when I'm doing a critique like this, I'm not saying that your images are bad. I'm just trying to point out positives and reinforce that with, here's some things to think about for the future. Because I understand that certain things happen so quick that you may not have the opportunity to get closer or further away or have the right lens on. That's not always in the cards when you're shooting. So when I simply do a critique like this, I can only critique it based off of what I see and I can try to give pointers that help all of you guys out there think differently when you're shooting photos to be like, you know what? If a butterfly does show up, I wanna be a little closer. Now that's only if you can, because I don't know if there's a stream separating the butterfly and this person. But I like this shot, the colors are beautiful. Really nice separation, looks good. Fireworks shot, good. It, it, I hope you took, uh, get rid of this watermark please. There is no need for this watermark at all. No need for watermarks on your images. Put them out into the world. Make sure your metadata is there. Make sure that you have your user rights over here, some rights reserved, so that it tells people what they can do with it. And if your work is good, people are gonna come back and they're gonna find out who you are and things are gonna happen. This is a good fireworks shot. Two fireworks shots, it's fine. 
which one's better? I love the rope one right here. That's pretty cool. So they're both good. So they work. Nice job. Virgin Atlantic. So this is a Virgin, Virgin flies Airbuses, right? This is not a Boeing. It looks like, I think it's an Airbus based off of the, the bottom. And probably, oh, and also I think the mount of exits. There's one here, two here, two here, another over the wing. No, another behind the wing and another here. So that makes it, I think, an Airbus A321. Maybe. Uh, it's a shot of an airplane. It's fine. What is it? 70 millimeter. You're damn close. You must have been really close to this airplane. It's good. It's a good shot. It's not amazing. I would pump up that contract, get that sky back in here, and get this virgin red nice and virgin red. Baseball shot, this shouldn't be in your portfolio. I'm not saying this is a portfolio. It's just that there should be better images if you're going to show them for critique because eyes are closed. He either whiffed at this high fastball. It depends on which way the blur is going, he, or he's popping it. I just think he's whiffing at it because his eyes are closed. But this isn't a pitch you swing at. It's not in this area, which is right about here, if you can see that. But this isn't. You know, compositionally, let's talk about it compositionally. Perfect. This composition's great. The exposure is great. It's the timing and the frame that's here, not so much. Now, if the ball was coming to the bat here and he was going to make contact, better. Or he just made contact. Or the ball is sitting on the bat, it's going to be better. Eyes closed, whiffing at the pitch, not so much but everything else about it is spot on. So this looks like he just popped out into the outfield and made an out, running the first base, getting ready to throw his helmet because he's gonna pick up his glove. I know the sport. It's just emotionally, it's, let's start off with the positives. Composition, good. Exposure, good. They're right on, that stuff's right on. Expression wise, not right on. So this is something to keep in mind that you could have everything right. And it's really important to have exposure and composition and things like that right. But then it's anticipating the moment where the story is being told in the image. There's a split second difference between a photograph, the good shot, and a snapshot. This is a snapshot that's exposed well and composed fine. But it's a snapshot because there's nothing going on emotionally in it that grabs you. Like the picture before, the guy whiffing at the pitch, it's the timing that is off. With sports, it's all about the timing. You got to get that timing right. That's all right. Uh, black and white's fine. Get rid of the watermark, please. Um, again, it's the expression. Not your fault on the expression, but it's not that interesting. Wow, he's like really behind on that pitch with the way where his foot is. But anyway, composition, good. Exposure, good. Expression, again, not so much. So it just comes down to shooting and finding the motion that you want to get. One more plain shot. You're obviously right under it now at 82 millimeters, but it's all right. It's, is there another one? So that's a plane coming in. This I would like to see vertical, wing to wing on the vertical. Check this out. This would be super sweet. Boom. And it could work. That would be awesome. I'd rather see that because the reason I'd rather see this in a composition like this is because the plane is coming down or going, uh, yeah, it's coming down because the, the landing gear's down. But see, that's what I would want to see it, and the flaps are down too. So that's what I'd want to see. This like feels like it's coming down, so trying to get that vertically would be better. The trees, eh, I mean, it's not that, it's, it's okay. It's all right. So Noah, there's some good shots in here. What you have going for you is great exposure, the composition seemed to be right on. It's now figuring out the timing of capturing quality images. It, it's the time of capturing the emotion that's happening. You've gotten everything else down. Now you've got to anticipate the moment and capture it because there's that split second difference between a winning shot and a snapshot. So that's another Adorama Picks rapid fire critique. If you want me to critique your best 10 images, please leave a comment with a link to your best 10 images and maybe I will critique your photos next. Thank you guys for watching. Jared Poland, Photo.com. See ya.